here in Bokoli Muli what how it looks so this is the one one this green line is in one one this is the one one Bokoli Muli cross section you can see the root resorption because of ortho so this is the alveolar part alveolar bone this is the basal bone this is the nasal flow okay now if you see these are the HU units okay so wherever the mouse goes it will tell the HU units okay how much density how much density it will show okay see it, I am in the nasal flow it is the air so whenever it is in the air it is showing in the minus so it is in the soft tissue right it will be around 130 something okay but if you come in the this bone cancellous bone it will be around 600 something like that but as you go towards the C2 slowly it increases you can see the number here mm -hmm. okay I am moving the cursor now now I am reaching the nasal flow it is 1080 so why not use this bone for getting stability if you place the implant only till here that is not good just go to a 3 one get support from here okay and if you see the anomaly it is 2600 something the zygoma will be around 2000 okay so it varies the pulp much so maybe because of calcification it is hmm, showing this is a reliable service also huh? see in CT the uh, something comes right but yes, CT it's actually related. Related, yes. Yeah. It is uh, no, uh, relevant only, it is not relevant. It's not very accurate. Very but it gives a fair idea. Okay. See the label plate is good. So you can place a I will place a virtually you will place the implant now. Okay. Before placing the implant, we will discuss. So this is the buccolingual cross section of the uh, jaw, okay, with the anterior maxilla, whatever it is. When you see this, you have to see what are all the things you have to see. What is the outline? What is the outline? Don't see the inside. How it looks? Okay, there are four kind of outlines you can see in the upper anterior. In the same way, in the lower mandible, there are four kind of shape you can see. Okay, pear shape, yes shape, you shape, something like that. Here, sometimes the palate goes like this. You have got lot of bone here. Sometimes the palatal bone goes like this. You cannot go palatally, you cannot build palatally. Okay, so these are the various. Uh, shapes. So usually the general rule is start the drilling from here, they will tell palatally and go along the palatal wall. If the palatal shape is like this, you cannot go palatally. Okay. So we need to understand first the outline. Any CBCT, if you see, first check the outline. Crystal bone. If it is a yield area, you can see crystal bone, but it is a tooth is present. This crystal bone. Sometimes the label plate may be infected, lost. Then intramedullary bone. This bone. Intramedullary bone. Okay. The bone here. Inside the bone. Then the cortical, fourth is the corticals or C2. The fifth one is the important anatomical structure. Important anatomical structure. First, see the outline, then see the crystal bone, then see the intramedullary bone, then see the cortical bone, then any important anatomical structure. Important anatomical what are those important anatomical structure hmm? incisive canal okay we have to avoid the incisive canal 
annoyingly pregnant goes into the incisive canal also no problem but try to avoid as much as possible then sinus right in the lower jaw it is mental foramen another one is inferior alveolar nerve out of this this are not very much significant even your implant goes to mm into the sinus no problem but this should be avoided the most important complication in implantology to be avoided is nerve injury nerve injury okay this is one way it is very important because the healing is unpredictable it, the healing is not on our hands we cannot do anything to healing so better to prevent always the patient will be, become a lifetime patient for you. okay so comparatively the upper anteriors they are safe only not very dangerous anatomical structures are not present and for this lingual vessels in anterior mandible lingually there will be vessels we should not injure them see here buccal and palatal plate is there we can place a compressive implant also if i am placing compressive implant i will placing the compressive implant from here little bit into the submerged into the socket okay till here i can is here the neck will come and okay i may do some minimal alveolar plastic okay. so only this part of the thread is exposed outside the socket right all this part is inside the bone this is a upper surface bone if i am using basal it will be like this if this patient is not having any labial plate i will be using this design if during extraction this plate breaks i won't place a compressive design because rough thread will be without bone then i have to use bone graft gb or not i will be placing a Uh, basal design. The only thing you have to avoid the incisive canal. Yeah. If you see, this is the axial section. You can see the incisive canal exactly in the middle. This is the buccal neural cord section. This is the canal. Okay. So this is the canal. So canal. There are four types of canal you can uh, observe. This is all given in articles. So this is the thing we should read. Okay. Sometimes the canal is very wide. The canal comes till here. Okay. But here it is not a problem. You may be asking. So you are showing CBCT and you are showing all these things. But if I don't have CBCT, what to do? Okay. That also I will tell. You can handle cases without CBCT also. But you should have knowledge based on CBCT. You should get the knowledge about surgical anatomy first. So how to get the knowledge about surgical anatomy is the only way by reading CBCTs. CBCTs are the only tool available to learn surgical anatomy. See, if we learn anatomy in the first year like this, we should have learned better. But they showed only 2D, you know, photos, diagrams. It's pretty dry. But if you can see this kind of interactive things, no, we can easily learn. So how I avoid incisive canal problem i open the flap and i put a you know drill into the incisive canal first and i will locate okay. then i will do the drilling next to the incisive canal that you will see now for this patient even if it goes little bit into the incisive canal or, or even more into the incisive canal also no issues not going to affect 